Welcome, my name is Chris Fulton. I'm here with uh, Lamil Coffee, uh, supporting the Hario booth here at uh, SCA 2014. We're gonna take a look at the uh, beam heater right here. So this year, new for Hario, we have uh, this beam heater. Um, it's actually not a new product, but it's new for the United States market this year. We have uh, all the certifications necessary in order to allow us to have any cafe here in the, Amer in the, in the States. Um, the great thing about the beam heater is actually the uh, soft heat that emits off the halogen lamp. So it's actually a really high powered halogen lamp that actually emits a heat to uh, heat, the, heat the water up uh, necessary for the, for the siphon. And uh, you can use uh, open flame, you can use um, any kind of heat source, but for me, the beam heater is great because it actually is on a dimmer switch. So you have a lot more control over the heat coming off the, off the lamp, and also you have a lot more control over the, uh, the, uh, the direct heat on the actual coffee as well too. So a much softer heat and a much more controllable uh, uh, method. And also it's not as dangerous as having the open flame in the cafe as well. So this siphon right here is actually one of the newer siphons. It's called the Hario Next Siphon. It's uh, the same actual principle of the siphon, a little bit uh, more uh, sexy design. You have a neoprene uh, handler right here, which uh, is a little bit more ergonomic for the, for the user. Um, and you have uh, a choice between a metal filter or a cloth filter as traditional. So metal filter is great because it's reusable. Let's a little bit more of the oil through, a little bit more of the uh, sediment, so you have a little more body you get for the siphon. And I love it because you can rinse it out and reuse it over and over and over again. So I'm gonna get this guy started right here. And so Hario is actually a, uh, a company based in Japan. They've been around for a very long time, established in the 19, uh, 19, uh, 1927. And uh, Hario actually means king of glass in Japanese. So all their stuff is all about glassware. All, this, all these products here, all the glass products are all heat resistant. They can go directly over top of an open flame, not crack. And um, they're very, very solid, very substantial as well too. So Hario has been kind of a, uh, in the past probably five or 10 years now, has been uh, cemented in the specialty coffee and tea world for their products. And the siphon's just one of those things that uh, gets a lot of attention from people. Uh, it's really cool to impress people on how to make coffee with this, uh, this little contraption right here. So while this guy's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and grind some coffee. Some coffee right over here. And so what's happening right now is that the uh, halogen lamp is uh, getting the hot water to the right temperature. And how the siphon works, it's all about pressure. So essentially the uh, hot water is going to create a seal between the bottom chamber here and the top chamber. At the bottom of the top chamber is a rubber seal. Once the water gets to the right temperature, I'm going to create that seal and uh, that's going to create a vacuum which is going to draw the water from the bottom chamber up here to the top chamber. Once all the water is here in the top chamber, I'm going to introduce the coffee to the hot water, stir it to uh, fully incorporate, and allow it to sit for a certain amount of time. Once it's sit for an appropriate, appropriate amount of time, I'm going to cut off the heat and uh, break, that, break that seal and actually cause a vacuum to happen between the top and bottom chamber to suck the coffee down to the bottom chamber. And as it's being sucked down, the ground coffee is going to be filtered out by that metal filter. So at the bottom of the carafe, you're gonna be left with uh, brew, fresh brew coffee. And at the top of the uh, carafe, you're gonna have uh, all the ground coffee. So inside the bottom chamber is actually a metal uh, ball bearing chain. And it's actually an indicator as to how hot the water is. So what I'm waiting for is actually a rapid boil uh, to happen off that chain to indicate that the water is at the right temperature in order to uh, connect the two chambers together. Another cool feature of the beam heater, you can actually uh, daisy chain the two together. So this beam heater right here is actually plugged into this beam heater. You can chain about three together in a row if you wanted to have three set up in your cafe and have one plug go to your actual outlet. So instead of having to have multiple plugs to the outlet, you can have one right here changed into this one, and that changed into this one over here. This one's actually plugged into the, heat so the power source at the bottom. Uh, you wait for not, not full boil, like right before boil, and then you attach the two chambers together. The water will draw all up. Drops about 10 degrees or so. So at the top of the chamber, it's around 200 degrees, 198. Once all the water gets up there, at this point now, I'm getting kind of a boil, so I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit to just kind of stabilize the heat. And now we're gonna reduce the coffee. Get it nice and saturated. Siphon for me has been one of the most interesting flavor profiles I've had in coffee in general. Um, you get the full body richness of a full immersion brew like you would for a French press, but you get the same clarity as you would for a percolator brew, as you would for like a V60 or something like that or pour over. Um, with the metal filter, you get a little bit more body and a little bit more sediment and also a little bit more of the oils too, um, but it's still fairly clean. I mean, the holes in the, on the metal filter are very, very small and they hold back a lot of the fines and a lot of the, uh, the things that kind of attribute to the heavier body for your French press. 
Um, for me, it's kind of right in the middle in between the French press and the pour over in terms of the body and the kind of the clarity and flavor. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and break the seal. All Just going to move it right over here away from the heat. And that's going to cause that seal to break and cause a vacuum to start. So that vacuum is actually sucking the coffee down to the bottom chamber right now. Great, I'm gonna remove this right here, pull it to the side. Get my grind's a little seized up. And then now the uh, stand becomes the handle for pouring. Yeah. Siphon, thank you.